<laughs> There's nothing better than a 24-hour gym. <laughs> a, a quiet time to exercise and, you know, get beefed up without a soul in sight. Well, speaking of beef... Beef? A topic I know better. A regional <laughs> New South Wales butcher has taken this concept and run with it, operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with zero staff. How is it possible? <laughs> The owner of that butchery, Jacob Walkie, joins us now to explain. First of all, you've got us hungry, Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking about the beef. Morning, everyone. How are you doing? <laughs> Tell us a bit about this. This is Australia's first self-service butcher. How did you come up with an idea like this? Oh, look, it all started waking up 2am one morning going, geez, I wish I could run into a shop and grab a porterhouse. <laughs> yeah, right, and then it went from there. Um, how have you managed to get it to get it up and running, though? So we've got a farm down the road where we grow beef, pork, chicken, lamb and sell it direct to market, and we needed to take production into our own hands, so I purchased this butchery to get the butchers working out the back, chopping up the meat, and I wanted to be able to facilitate customers out the front here, but our volume was so small I couldn't afford the overheads of wages, so I basically converted the front of this store here into a big walk-in vending machine. And so this is right on the border with Victoria? That's right, Albury Wodonga. Mm, very good. Now I'm is curious. Is it Albury or Wodonga? <laughs> Which one? You've got to pick. It's Albury, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's New South Wales all day long. <laughs> now, of course, when you set something like this up, the, the, the first thing you worry about is theft. Has that been an issue since you've opened? We've had absolutely zero theft here in almost two years of trading. So you become a member of the butchery and to get your free membership, you have to do a free farm tour with me and we call those farm tours church. They're on a Sunday morning, they go four or five hours because I want our community to buy into our mission of enhancing animal welfare and stewarding the environment in a positive direction. And if you still want to be a member of the butchery, once you've heard me preach on a Sunday morning, <laughs> I'll give you a unique code. You can let yourself in 24-7 and there's cameras under surveillance. And in two years, we've had zero shrinkage. <laughs> zero, zero shrinkage. That's handy. Um, Jacob, I want to know how many members you've got there. We've got about 250 to 300 members and about 100 of them are relatively active. The other ones are out of towners, so they're coming in by monthly or seasonally, that sort of thing, when they're travelling. Well, I'm getting there as soon as I can. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Thank you, big fella. Lavington, New South Wales, it's a unique idea. Excellent. Thank you, Jacob. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?